overflows spiritualizing male female union how the art of converting sexual energy into spiritual enlightenment be brought to humanity a spiritualization of sex can only happen in a systematic manner and one has to be ready for this forever each moment both inner and outer dimensions whatever you do on a day to day basis must be a blend of inner and outer harmony of various levels of energy i share certain simple techniques that will set the direction for transformation holding the hands of your spouse man or a woman sit silently closing your eyes feel the presence of the other either into the presence enter the presence of the other and let the other's presence enter you vibrate together sway together as if suddenly a great energy has possessed you dance together you will reach to such peaks of joy as you have never known before these peaks have nothing to do with sex in fact they have much to do with silence such are the moments of peak of silence becoming meditative in love is the first step and if you can also manage to become meditative in your sex life if you can be silent while making love a kind of dance you will be surprised you have a built in process to take you to the farthest shore something you cannot conceive only you have to enter to feel this know this as being meditative in love really sex makes you intelligent therefore it happens that more sexual a person is more intelligent more innovative he can be the more sexual a person is the more intelligent with less sex energy less intelligence exists with more sexual energy more intelligence exists because sex is the deepest search to uncover not only the bodies but on not only the opposite sex body instead everything that is hidden deep within from sex to prayer you can move via spirituality it is an important technique when love itself expresses through you it first expresses as the body then there is there it becomes sex this is the first layer or level of sex happening if sex expresses through the mind which is higher deeper and subtler then it is called love and if sex expresses itself through the spirit it becomes prayer if everything goes well and sex is natural and flowing it is beautiful experience because you can have a glimpse of the second through it if sex goes really very deep so that you forget yourself completely in it you can even have the glimpse of the third through it and if sex becomes a total orgasmic experience there are rare moments when you can even have the glimpse of the fourth fourth dimension which hindus sanatans call as turiya the beyond through it but if sex fails then many perversions happen to the mind these perversions are expressed through various dimensions of hatred hatred is a failure of sex a failure of love enemy violence lust for money the continuous conflicting attitudes of ego war politics these are all examples of sex perversion remember 
unnatural sex leads to hunger for power. A man whose sex is not perverted cannot become a politician. It is impossible. All politicians as such need deep sexual therapy. Otherwise, their whole energy will be moving to gain more and more power. When sex is natural, you feel power. You are not seeking it. Sex is potentiality. It is power. You feel it showering on you and you don't seek and search for it. And when you miss it, then a great urge arises in you to seek power. Politics is born, then wars, continuous violence are born, hatred, anger, and thousand and one types of perversions arise. Love can give you a new meaning and even soul to sex. Therefore, love should be an important part of sex. Then sex is transfigured, it becomes beautiful, and it becomes transcendental. It no longer remains sex then. It has something of the beyond in it. It has become a bridge to connect you to the beyond. Real, real journey is from love to sex, not vice versa. You can love a person because the person satisfies your sex. This is not love. This is just a bargain. You can have sex with a person because you love. Then sex follows just like a shadow, a significant part of love. Then it is beautiful. It is no longer of the animal world. Then something of the beyond has already entered. And if you can go on, Loving a person deeply, by and by, sex disappears. If you go on loving a person deeply, then by and by, sex disappears. Intimacy becomes so fulfilling that, that there is no need for sex. Love is enough unto itself. When that moment comes, then there is no there is the possibility of prayerfulness dawning upon you. Love is fulfillment unto itself. When two lovers are in such deep love that love suffices, the, suffices and sex has simply dropped. Not that it has been dropped. Not that it has been suppressed. No. It has simply disappeared from your consciousness without leaving a scar behind. Then two lovers are in such deep unity, deep harmony, deep oneness. They are like two musical instruments entwined together, pulsating in one harmony, playing one melody. Through Two entwined separate instruments, there is no longer, there is no longer disharmony. There is no greater bliss than that. Sex divides. The very word sex comes from the root which means division. Love unites. Sex divides. Sex is the root cause of all divisions and problems. When you make sex to a person, man or a woman, you think it unites. For a moment it gives you the illusion of unity and then a vast division suddenly comes in. That is why after every sex act, a frustration, a depression sets in. One feels that one is far away from the beloved and when it accumulates over a period of time, frustration, etc. comes in and becomes a permanent part. 
just love alone is enough therefore when love goes deeper and deeper and unites more and more there is no need for sex anymore your inner energies can meet without sex just by look just by touch and you live in such unity the anima and animus have merged into one another this state is depicted in india as ardh narishwar shiva is depicted half male half female generally man is afraid of love but not of sex why strangely people who are afraid of love they are not afraid of sex love is the most dangerous because it takes you deeper to your layer of emptiness while sex is not dangerous it can be manipulated there are now many manuals on how to do it you can manipulate it sex can become a technique love can never become a technique love is a spontaneous happening overflow if in sex you try to remain in control then even sex will not help you to reach the ultimate it will give you a certain it will it will go to a certain point and you will drop back because somewhere it also needs a letting go total involvement is the essence of sex and life however this total involvement is lacking that's why orgasm is becoming more and more difficult ejaculation is not orgasm to give birth to children is not orgasmic orgasm is the involvement of total body mind body soul all together you vibrate your whole being vibrates from head to toe you are no longer in control existence has taken possession of you and you do not know who you are this it is like a madness it is like a sleep it is like a meditation it is like death sex and life sex is the life force indeed sex can give you the answers to what the what really life is it is so because sex is the most alive thing and or energy in you mind is the most dead thing and in your sex the most alive thing is you that is why mind is always against sex and mind always wants to suppress it mind is the death thing and sex is the life force so they go on fighting with one another and whenever you move into sex the mind feels frustrated and it says that it is wrong love is not just for play as psychologists say that love is nothing but foreplay to sex they are right in a certain way because they have the only specimen that they have known but when your hunger is you gravitate towards food when there is a need for the food and when the need is satiated you move away from there but when your hunger is satiated you move away from the food all the enchantment is gone finally sex flowers into blo- into love and this flowering is awakening when psychologists say that love is nothing but a for play just a mannerism they are right because they do not know any other type of man when sex becomes meditation it flowers into love and this flowering is a movement towards the divine movement towards awakening enough for now